Let's go on a food photography, photo shoot, vlog style, prop hunting, light setting up, photo shoot, making, vlog, whatever that is, okay? So I'm trying to give you guys more access to what I'm doing. Instead of just sitting on a chair all the time, I'm just gonna go with a vlog style and give you more access on how I shop for things, how I set up things, all of that. I'm doing a food shoot for two national, actually one is a national brand, one is a regional brand. Both are great. It's going to be at Whole Foods and at uh, different markets around the United States. And we're shooting two months of content in one day for two brands, two months each. So literally four campaigns in one and a half days. Not one day, one and a half. That's a lie. Let's go shopping. Let's go see how I find some of the props. Let's see how I pick some of the props. Let's see how I set my lighting. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little, I'm doing a little vlog thing as a test. Shit. Go with me to Best Buy. I'm gonna go get a little, um, a like a charger cord for my DJI Osmo, which is such a cool camera, but then I lost the damn charger because I just moved everything around my office. So I lost it. But here's how you find chargers. Here's how you find any kind of gadget that you've been looking for like things that you lost you go buy a new one and as soon as I buy the new one I'm gonna find the old one that's just how life works um, so right now I'm gonna go to Best Buy and I gotta get a charger and if I do end up finding it then I'll just have two as a backup so that's good I'm trying to get healthier I really am so I have to pull into a Walmart this is gonna ruin any future endorsement with them but I'm trying to shop better and use my dollar better so I'm trying to go with companies that pay fair wages and companies that take care of their workers and really tone down my reliance on a couple companies that you know so you're gonna see me going into a Walmart and I don't feel good walking in there, but I have to find a few things for the shoot. I already have a whole bunch of props from previous months, so I just add a few new things each month now. All right, so I'm at a Walmart, and um, and the thing is, is that I don't want to support stores like this as much. It's, it's a challenge. Nothing. I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy anything. In fact, I'm not going to say I'm a hero and I had a to total change of heart. Things were not there. Then the second thing was not there. And I was like, this is just dumb. Why am I just going to buy one thing at a store that I don't agree with? Veto the whole thing. Go to a store where you actually do agree with their politics or how they treat other human beings. I don't care if I disagree with their politics. It's like, how do you treat others? So we're going to go over to Target and let's go shopping there. She's a superstar. I got inspired a lot by her. Joni, I'm so sorry. Because um, I'm going to have her on my podcast soon. Anyways, this is an account I, I learned a lot from. I'm giving credit where it's due. So let me tell you guys uh, what happened with the food photography was I said no at first. And then um, because of the relationship with the agency, you kind of have to take it. And then I also looked at it as a challenge too. So Joni's The Bite Shot... That channel, that YouTube channel taught me a lot. And then she ended up being real cool. And then I ended up buying her book and she's awesome. She's really, really cool. Uh, really nice, humble, down to earth, creative. So I started taking pictures of food and it was such a cool experience because it was completely different from shooting models or superstars or whatever. And listen, I'm not gonna complain about it because here I am in my first year of photography. For, no, no, my first year of food photography and I get not one, but two, and then now a third national brand. So I'm thankful, I'm grateful. And I'm gonna take you guys a little bit on just some of my shopping experiences and a little bit on set. That's what you're gonna learn on this uh, vlog too. Okay, for props, I'm using this, um, and it's three bucks, but it's a low glass, that's what I like about it. So if it's a super high glass, it's hard to get the angles. A low glass, um, it's better for food photography. And then it's modern, ish and it doesn't have a lot of detail which is for the brand they really like this postmodern vibe i don't know how much this is but it's in like the dollar section area so maybe two three bucks i'll get that too we'll be using it it's always good to interchange you could put like a cheese block you could put some tacos on this or whatever it might be but it looks like real marble let me tell you it ain't okay that's good so let's go to the next stop when i'm looking for things I'm looking for, so we do maybe two months in advance, and I'm looking for things that are seasonal, mask on always, 
seasonal. So we're looking for like July and August, maybe even June. Okay, Target, so much quieter here, by the way. And guess what? They left out three bowls for me. I'm gonna be taking three bowls and it joins the pack right here. Always add a little bit. By the way, if you guys are looking for silverware for uh, your photo shoots, you have a choice between a matted kind and then you have a choice between a shiny kind. Here's why you want the matted kind. You can't see me, see that? You see me right there. So with a big, big flash, that's kind of a pain in the ass. So always go for this kind. And I actually have this kind in the studio. All right, let me get the little spatula thing. I think we're going to go with something. Shoot, I'm confused. This to take out a piece of quiche or this? I guess this. I'm not stoked about it though. Let's see if there's a prettier one. This one, it is called Mary McClooney. I gotta get some dinner napkins. I always try to pass off dinner napkins as dish towels, and they're like, Wally, that's a dish towel. Um, but I need solid color. Like, what am I supposed to do with this guy? It's nice, whoever designed it. Favorite drinks, favorite drinks. Thank you very much. You too, thank you. Okay, here we go. Running out of time. I gotta go pack the boxes, uh, go pack my gear, and then go to the kitchen and go meet my stylist, Mary. So they mailed me three boxes. One, two, three, full of perishable things. Products in the back right here. And then I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's, go get some food, some snacks, and uh... All right, so I go into, I, I like Trader Joe's. It's down here in Southern California. And I'm trying to buy the crew food. Like you don't have to do this, but as a photographer, I want to make sure that my crew is happy. So I have snacks for tonight, for tomorrow, for, um, I have meals for us. They, they are like, we love salads, Waleed, we love this. Um, I put some juices in there and then I had to buy like a big basil plant for something for the actual shot that we're shooting. So do this. Now, if you're gonna shop for food for your crew, you got two choices. You can fill them up with junk, tons of sugar. They're gonna have a whole bunch of energy, but a, it's not cool to do that, but sometimes you need to do it. But when you do that, it better be a short shoot because they're gonna crash and you don't want them crashing on your watch. So I went for the more natural route just because I care about the people that work with me and I want them to eat healthy and I'm trying to eat healthier myself too. So we're shopping for food, let's go. Okay, so um, reflection of my mirror, but basically going to Trader Joe's because I'm getting stuff for, my, um, for the crew, just waters and food and we forgot butter for my stylus, so we're getting that. Okay, so got a thing of basil, someone's behind me. Um, forgot my mask, whoops. I'm trying to feed him healthy. So now that I'm in the kitchen, so what I do is I rent a kitchen, the same kitchen every couple months, and then they give us a great deal and they lock out everybody else and we're allowed to go back and forth and Mary, my food stylist, is allowed to spread everything out and then I'm allowed to spread everything out in the other room and shoot. So what I'm doing right now is spreading everything out. I'm putting the new props in a line to see and then I go and I take the plate and I'll put it up against the cabbage. I'll put it up against the lettuce or the meat or whatever it might be and go, oh, these two colors look beautiful. And we'll go back and forth and build this out. Plus, I have a whole bunch of crates of other stuff from previous months too. So those get laid out too. And you get to watch me look through them and go, okay, well, here's what we got. Let me pick this. I need a platter. I need a plate. I need this kind of silverware or that kind. So food. You guys look, so I'm at the location. That's where we're gonna do the food shoot, but they have their own garden. So, but I'm gonna show you something really cool. You know, they got these things. I don't know what it is. They've got little peppers growing. Hey, peps. Um, you've got these things that look really happy. I think they're onions. Don't know what they are. 
Then you've got some rosemary. And at this I know, marigolds keep bugs away from tomato plants, and there's tomato plants. Okay, I don't know what you guys are. If you guys know, educate me. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Tomatoes. Like, they straight up are growing tomatoes in their parking lot. All right, this is the room that I'm doing my setup. And this big, big door is gonna go up during the day. Um, I got a C-stand, do not go without a C-stand. Then, you guys remember I bought that. All my fake backgrounds, which are actually foam core boards, okay? Um, but you wouldn't know it from here. All the groceries, I have my camera bag. Then, do not go without a five or six in one uh, reflector kit. And then in here, we have all the food prepping. They're prepping ahead of time. These look good, these pancakes. And then we have one table here with, this is just all her instructions for the month, step by step. That's the product that's been shipped. And then some of the food that I got the crew. We have Meg here, all her notes. So everything that's taken them at least a full week to shop. And she goes and she uh, checks every single recipe out, drags all these things with her. And these are some of the tools of the trade for a food stylist. Like you wouldn't know, but sometimes these little suckers are holding up burgers. So Mary's got the whole system here. Everything has a place, everything, there's a reason why things are here. Um, anything that's, oh shit, I just, All right, all the stuff is here. And they have a whole way of how they've organized it and how that um, moves fast throughout the day. All right, now I'm setting the lighting. Pay attention to this lighting because it's pretty simple. But that's what works. Simple is what works. Simple is people can relate to. Simple is what the kind of food photography that people would do in their own home. So what I'm replicating is indirect window light. Direct means the sun hits super, super hard. Indirect just means it's indirect and the sun is overhead, but you get this beautiful morning light. That's what I'm after. And so you get to see me uh, set up the scrim, our diffuser. Uh, people flip out if you call it the wrong name. The stands. The backdrops, look how I made my backdrops. I'm pretty proud of how I did that. Like affordable countertops, different tables, all that on a $1 foam core board. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm going to keep using that and you do too. You got the silver side. Now, if I wanted gold, it's just going to give a warmer sunset view. Uh, so we're going to go silver. It's much more powerful. The scrim here is so good, but I might as well use a bigger one. And then what happens is... The sun right now is really, you know, ruining our light, but that's okay. So, hey, everybody. So, here we go. I'm using Alien Bees. These are probably 10 years old. I'm okay with them, all right? Y'all, you don't need some pro photos. Sometimes I'm using this. I'll link it at the bottom of the video. That goes into here. So, what this is doing, this transponder, is talking. Basically, I can keep pushing the button, okay? Or, op that's option one, that'll never work. Number two is a cord that goes in here, and then it's that cord is connected to my camera, or we can go remote. So this little guy is getting information from this little guy on my camera, okay? And how they're talking is almost like a garage door opener. So you see that? It's up, up, down, down up up down down so then this will go onto there and how we know they are able to talk is up up down down right there so now they're talking now when I'm over here and I hit if I'm either click the shutter or the test button right there I click that see kind of magical about fifteen twenty dollars I have the cone that's attached. The cone comes with the head. 
So when the cone is attached, you guys, I'm going to try to do my audio fast because the fridge is the devil and it's um, too loud. So the cone is going to, otherwise, let's see the, the flash in there. See that? It would just spill out in every direction. So the cone shoots it forward. Now, when it goes through that, it goes through this really, really thin shoot through umbrella because you can see the light goes through it. But as the light goes through it, the light is softened. Imagine running through a wall and something is stopping you. So this softens the, the blow of that light, the intensity of the shadows, the intensity of the light. If you could see right now, that's direct sunlight. That's an intense light. You could see there's definitive lines on my, uh, of the shadow of my hand. Okay. So that's what we don't want. So we're going through stacks and stacks of plates and things that we collect along the way. And now it becomes this thing of, well, do we want this plate or is that too, um, whatever color that is, or do we want something like this with the gray on the side and white in the middle? Then we have Mare going inside her truck to get something. Um, the other option is we have this guy, which we both love because it's a little irregular of a shape. But then I wonder if we throw one of these in there, if it's too small and that makes a big difference. But Mary, my food seller, she's amazing. I can say it because she's not here. Um, we would drizzle some maple dressing and things like that. And that might cover some of the real estate. What happens when a plate is too big is that the food looks insignificant and yeah. Okay. I like the big one down and this one, wow, this over here. So are you coming in? Mm -hmm. I want, hold on. I want, oh, I like that. It's interesting because the irregularity of this shape is similar to this. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's why I think I'm, I'm liking that. And I like, see, see how the balance, see how there, yep. that creates that pocket? I love that. Yep. And I like, I like the, the texture difference. The only thing that I'm curious is, can there be something here that, can, can this pull out a little bit more? Uh -huh. So when that dressing comes down, You'll it has catch a, it? yeah, it will okay. catch it and it has some depth. I want to give it the viscosity that I want. And this should mix in beautifully. See, do you see that? How yeah, it just now completely I got a changed? bunch of shine. A bunch of shine. The viscosity is where I want it to be, and it is. It'll drizzle beautifully. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That'll be beautiful. And go. Yeah, and there we go. There we go. Sides beautiful. Move, move, good. So then, that's what the agency gives us. I actually want to try their buttermilk. It looks good. It, it, I opened the bottle and I sniffed it. I was like, mmm, buttermilk. Hold on. Beautiful. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Good. Uh-uh. Can you give me a full, like, stack? I'm trying. Yeah, right there. Hold on. Is that going to get Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. Lift it a little. No, no. Lift it. Lift it so I can see it like this from the side. Okay, so we just finished the um, the pancakes and now I'm going to go through the stack of plates and try to find a platter for the kebabs. What do you think of this platter? The gray one? Definitely. Yeah, the... Now let's go through my backdrops and to match the backdrop that they got right there, uh, let's actually go with this guy, put it on. And this one is made from some kind of a plywood. You could see how thick it is, how thick it's not. And then we'll put it there and the background is going to be for the kebabs, the background doesn't matter so much, but I'm gonna leave the background here because some of the light bounce is gonna come through. So then we'll put the plate right here, and then this is the product. And we might just put it a little bit, but I don't, I just, the problem with photographing a tall bottle is that you gotta go this way. So coming here, it's awkward. You see that right there at the, at the top of the frame. 
Um, so we're going to pour it into a little bowl. So now Why we're trying to decide to which bowl. Here. This bowl, um, this bowl, for oh, yeah. this or this. That's too commercial kitchen. That is weird. I don't know. It's not a fan of it. Too big, I think. So we're going to go with this. The reason why is the color is going to be a beautiful contrast to this. So that's why we're going with this bowl. What timer, what timer is uh, happening? It's right here, the white one. So you got like five minutes. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the one that she's going to pick out by hand, please. Yep, that'll be my focal, right? But then uh, that one away from the handle, please. The, the golden handle. The one she's picking out away from the golden handle. Or actually her hand can cover the golden handle. Right. Okay. So. And that I, this is what I suggest for you also. So I'm just laying it out right now, putting it everywhere, seeing what I have, because you forget. It's so easy when you stack things to forget. So you put things different places. This is just the first night. We're shooting a handful of things. Then tomorrow, we're shooting for 18 hours straight. It's a rough day, okay? It's just this. If you enjoyed that, if you wanna learn more about photography and actually filmmaking and video, cause I'm putting in a lot more filmmaking coming forward. If you wanna learn more how to make money, how to charge your clients, how to raise your prices, how to grow your business, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and if you have any questions, always comment and I always respond back, okay? That's the first part. If you wanna learn more, if you want like tons of cheat sheets and freebies from me, um, that link is in the description. I give you a ton. That's actually things I should be charging for, but I don't because that's the kind of person I am. Thank you for watching. Watch this video right here, please. If you want to learn more about food photography and how I created my own backdrops, also taught by Joni Simon. Okay. Thank you so much. My name is Walid Azami. I will talk to you guys next time. Show up next time because hit the subscribe.